Drive along Main Street in Gretna and you won't find much business. Dexter writes, First Class Cuts Barbershop and Salon is the exception. My best times has been here in my hometown, Gretna, Florida. In business here since 2016, he'll tell you his hometown could use an economic boost. I feel like some people around here um, are lacking the opportunities for financial um, growth. This plot of land just three and a half miles south across the interstate could be the answer. We're committed as a city to diversify our economy. Antonio Jefferson is Gretna's city manager, a title he's held for 18 years now. We don't have the financial resources on our own to do projects like this. A project that is taking a new step forward toward reality. In late 2022, Governor Ron DeSantis announced millions of dollars for rural communities to help build infrastructure for economic development. Gretna is getting three and a half million. Right now, this 120 acres is overgrown with brush and with trees, but the latest round of funding will help grow it into an economic driver. This uh, piece of property is going to be an industrial park, and it can have um, multimodal uses, uh, truck, car, uh, rail. Beth Cicchetti is executive director of the Gadsden County Development Council. She says this land's been up for development since 2015. The latest round of funding will bring the water, road, and utility infrastructure needed to build here. All of those important factors so that as we are attracting and talking to uh, manufacturing, transportation, and logistics companies to come to this area, that they know that the site is going to be ready. Right now, Gadsden County's unemployment rate, 2.7%. Would this project help bring that number down, do you think? It is going to, to go a long way in providing new jobs here in the city of Gretna and in Gadsden County. You'll typically get anywhere from 40 to 250 is kind of the job, the sweet spot for the companies that we're looking to attract to this area and the, the job count that will come with that. Any bites from any companies yet? Well, we have several um, that are looking. We um, Not anybody that we can speak of right now because they're in the due diligence phase. A sign of progress that Wright says could potentially give his business and his hometown a boost. If it's brought into, hopefully they can hire people from the community to actually help the community grow and that people from the community can actually prosper. And Channing, could this project benefit the surrounding counties as well? Well, yeah, this project's supposed to be central to the Gulf to Gadsden Freight Logistics Zone. What is that? Well, it's a big project. Check it out. It's a plan that includes Gadsden, Liberty, Franklin, and Gulf counties. The Apalachicola Northern Railroad would connect them all to develop businesses and freight transportation. A study published by the Appalachia Regional Planning Council shows the four counties within the zone have a combined workforce of approximately 32,000 people. So as this project moves forward and gains steam, it could potentially help a lot of people in the years to come.